welcome you to the awesome show. I'm your host, Tumay Anderson. To my right, the guest, the staple, Tom Mosier. Tommy boy, how you feeling, baby? I'm great, Tum. How are you? I'm awesome. I don't know about you. You're great. I'm always awesome, Tom. It's always awesome. I figured I'd let you get the first awesome in. I'm going to get lots of awesome in. Lots of awesome. Lots and lots of awesome. We have an awesome show prepared for you today here. First of all, we'd like to take you, Jake, take us to those great highlights we have, please. You are now witnessing. Black Drake. Always watching. The God's Army. And this is the Capitol. We are G A D S. Young guy, here we just trying to chase it back. Get a check for my city, then I run it back. And if you see me, don't say nothing. If you trapped in the struggle, better stay lost. Hundred grand, hundred grand, hundred grand, hundred grand, hundred grand, hundred grand. Let me stop. Money dance. Hundred grand, hundred grand, hundred grand, hundred grand, hundred grand, hundred grand. Let me stop, money dance. All right, welcome back to the awesome show. Hopefully you got to check out all those great highlights out there because the LVBR is always watching. Tom, let's go back here in the week review here, Tom. A lot of great action here to start the basketball season. Um, games galore, Friday, Saturday, lots of action out there. A lot of out-of-conference of, um, out of games. Tell us a little bit of some of the things that intrigued you this past week here, Tom. Well, Tom, let's start right at the top with the team that most people have ranked number one in our area right now, and that's the Bethlehem Catholic Golden Hawks. They went down to suburban Philadelphia at an uh, a invitational, basically. Uh, it, it, you, no, just don't get invited down there unless you're a top-notch team. And uh, they took on one of the best from the city, MLK, and handed them an 11 Not one of the best defeat. in the city, Tom. One of the best in the state. One of the best. MLK. MLK is ranked in the 5A state playoffs. Yes, yeah. they are ranked down in the state well, 5A state polls. There's a reason our Golden Hawks are ranked number two in the state because they kind of took MLK apart. They got contributions from both the young – brothers inside jp the sniper outside yep. gardner was scoring some points so uh, that was a total team effort from bc down there that was a great 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 win for the lehigh valley for bethlehem catholic going down into to philadelphia the district one district 12 area coming out there coming out with a astounding win they were up by 20 plus points at one point tom we'll get into this more later but ray barbosa obviously knows he is a very talented team because he's going to challenge himself with some uh you know, some decent competition, more than decent competition here early on. Uh, some some teams would rather pad their their uh, schedule with some wins. Ray wasn't really worried about that. Some and, and teams are out there, Tom. You know, <laughs> they got their, you know, Salkin Valley. They're scheduling. Some are out there. They're scheduling. You know, Palisades and uh, you know, not mentioning any names or nothing out there, Tom. But. You know, some teams did take it a little bit easy last weekend out there. They did. I, I will say one other team. Uh, <laughs> I, I would really like to say they completely impressed us, but they impressed us on Friday, and that was okay. a game that you saw in person, the Eastern Red Rovers, right? Well, well, well Tom, you know, we're, we're always watching. LVBR is always, always watching. Correct. Let's make sure we make that very correct. clear. But I was definitely impressed with the game out there, at Easton versus Banger. Easton, I'm going to call them calm, the new kids on the block. Oh, oh. I like that. I think they got the right stuff, Tom. They got the right stuff. The Boylan, Ryan Boylan, was a starter last year, played a lot of minutes last year for Easton. Um, so he got a lot of playing time. But there's some new kids coming up. Uh, the Jacobs, actually, they're triplets. Twins, they're, they're, excuse me, Two, the two brothers actually play uh, on a team. They're sophomores. And then their sister's a manager. So there's triplets out there, the Jacobs. And those two, two I'm telling you, Tom, Tom, wait till you see these guys, Tom. These guys are out there. They're fearless. They're throwing their little bodies on the lane. They remind me a little bit of, of a, a couple of twins that played last year. I'm not getting ready to give them that kind of status yet, Tom. But they were, you know, they played their well. They're playing their way into that kind of realm. They they really played fearless. I was really impressed with them. Tom, I I first saw this group of young rovers here this summer at oh. the A Town Throwdown. Yes, indeed. JV yes, indeed. tournament. Okay. Okay. Uh, the freshman Chris Huey also young up and comer, the young frost for the Rovers. See, that's what Ben, you know, Coach Child's out there. Awesome victory out there today. Congratulations. Just tell us a little bit about the impact of your young guys on your team this year. Well, I'll tell you what, we uh, we only have three returning lettermen back. One of them, Jake Harris, uh, our captain, is hurt. 
And uh, we weren't too sure how our young guys, uh, our freshmen, our, 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 uh, our boatload of sophomores were going to react to the bright lights against a very good team. And I'll tell you what, they came out there and they impressed me and they probably uh, over exceeded my expectations. But that's, that's all to their credit. They were ready for the, uh, for the varsity action and, and uh, they showed it tonight. He's, he's playing possum. He's throwing them in the JV. He doesn't want anybody to know about what's going on this summer. He's just throwing them in the JV world. He's, he's trying to get him some game experience, okay. but uh, they they and, and they did it without their senior captain Jake Harris, who's yeah. injured. Correct. That's a that's a oh. great point there. Jake's out there with a uh, looks like a fractured foot. Not he's not he may not play the rest of the season. Wow. Up in the area. That, that okay. could be a big that would, that would be a big loss for the Rowers because I think Coach Childs he said after the game he wasn't sure what to expect. Well, he he got an upset over one of the top teams in the area and certainly the best team in the Colonial League. That was definitely a great win out there. So we got the Jacobs and the Boylan and then there's a freshman, a young puppy out there, Chris Huey. Oh man, Chris Huey might have already set the season on fire with the play of the year. Great move he had in the lane. Let's want to take you to the highlight right now. Somebody come look at this. Oh, yeah. Oh, man. What a great highlight that was. Outstanding. Some might say it was. Awesome. It was definitely awesome. All right, so great move out there, Chris. We're looking forward to seeing you a lot more in the season. I'm going to go into the D3 world, uh, Tom, all right, the college world. I'm very impressed with former Be was Bethlehem Catholic. It must be doing that. Former Bethlehem Catholic sensation, Kwaku Dawson Amoa, all right? this right? I've seen him a couple times, Tom. Double-double machine. Um, he had a, a sensational season at Becca. His only one year at Becca, Chancellor from Phillipsburg. And he's taking his talent – Follow his AAU coach, Coach Darnell Braswell, to the sales, and it's absolutely blowing up out Let's there. Let's face it, he's gotten a lot better in three years. He had a good senior year at Becca, but he didn't dominate the way he's dominating the D3 level. Now, DeSales is on fire. They won nine in a row. Wow. Outlasted local rival Muhlenberg on Saturday. Saturday. Oh, I believe a couple of hours. Tom, Tom, Tom. Tom, I have Muhlenberg ties, too. I coached a yes, lot of these guys yes, the last two years. Yes, Tough yes. loss. They had a chance down a the stretch. They did. Uh, DeSales, uh, Jake over here. Yeah, Jake's the, over the here. Our, our, our video guy, our, our video man. It's out there. He's out there. He's the DeSales guy. He's out here rubbing it in my face. Jake, you're not going to get away with that, Jake. We're coming back Don't for forget, you, man. Don't forget, Jake, you're on the campus of Muhlenberg right now. You are now. on the Muhlenberg campus out but here, But congrats Jake. to the hard-fought win. The sales takes the, the local uh, trophy. They did beat Moravian Mitch a couple weeks ago. So they went 2-0 and against the local rivals. But Queco dominating inside. Yeah, he's having an awesome season right now. Uh, he's getting bigger, better. He's also getting bigger. That boy is getting strong. His hair is flowing all over the place. Got the locks going all out there. He looks but good. He looks good. He looks good. Boy, he's looking, he looking fly out there. Looking fly out there. So it was just great to see the D3 action, Tom. A lot of local guys in action. I mean, we talked about Kwaku. I saw Ben Pratt out there as well for the sales on the Muhlenberg and his Gene Lee Bias, Alex Matan, Nick Rendock, Nigel Long. I'm sure you know all these guys. You coach these guys. You, you uh, love recruit some of those guys. Love, love those guys, guys man. They're, they're all awesome, awesome guys, man. So uh, those are the guys that we're really impressed with this week here, Tom. Um, you know, and so we're going to look here now, Tom. Let's start previewing a little bit. Let's see what's coming up here in the future up here this week. A lot of more out-of-conference game action, um, several showcase events going on. But, Tom, there's no none bigger, none better than the awesome event, the awesome Spartans Challenge taking place at Northampton Community College, Tom. Any of those games intriguing you, Tom? I mean, listen, you have five, five right, Tom? Five, five. Games, Count them, five And we got games. the Divas in there, too. We got a Divas, divas action in there. Divas we got some Divas early. action in there. Divas yeah. action mm -hmm. early. Mm -hmm. And you have a couple teams coming from up north in yep. the Scranton area. Scranton mm -hmm. Prep, I believe, is coming yes, down to play against, District 2 is in the house. Emmaus, correct? Yes, we, District 2 is in the house. Scranton Prep and Abington Heights. Also, Abington Heights. They're, the they're taking on... Abington Heights taking on Downingtown, Downingtown East. Downingtown East. Scranton Prep taking on uh, Amaze. If you look at the, the state rankings, Scranton Prep and down and um Abington, Abington Heights are are very highly rated in the, the the state rankings. So 
the Lehigh Valley's going to have to step up their game and, uh, and cha- answer the challenge here. So I, I know they're playing down in Town East, which isn't a local a, a local team, but True. but Abington Heights uh, and Coach Ken Bianchi, the legendary Ken Bianchi, yes, he he's probably won 700, if not 800 games down there. little inside info, Ken Bianchi. <laughs> Uh-oh. Uh, uh, Uh-oh. Hold up there. Hold up there. Inside my info. Former, inside info. My Here we go. My former colleague – at Freedom, Tim Murphy. Mm. Tim mm. is an Abington Heights graduate. Played for the legendary Ken Bianchi. Wow. Okay. The Comets. The Played Comets. for the Comets. Okay. They've come down to the Valley several times in recent years. They have. They were down here in Muhlenberg's Hall last year. Yes, Remember? They were. That was they a were that here. was a tomb sponsored uh, event. You know, you know, there was a LVBR sponsored event, the Muhlenberg, uh, I, ho- the Muhlenberg Holiday Festival. Holiday Festival. The Holiday, holiday Festival, Festival out there, Abington Heights. So they come down. So we appreciate teams like Abington coming down. I told Murph. I said, Murph, get get, get your fan support down here from Scranton. No, they love to support their. They support their teams. There's no doubt about. It. I I do want. I, I have to take a shot at Murph. You know what I call Ooh. Murph? You know what I call what Murph? You, tell, me, tell me what you call him. I what call him the Rock. Him? The Rock. Do you know why I call him the Rock? Oh man, I, you're gonna I, like I, it. I, oh, man, here we go. I call is he, Murph. Is he a I call the Murph. I call Murph the Rock because, like the Rock, he doesn't really acknowledge his Bethlehem roots, his freedom oh, roots. Right? I shots mean, shots fired. Shots fired. I'm kidding. Fired. I'm kidding. Shots fired. I'm here. kidding at Murph. I'm I'm not kidding at the Rock. Oh. Uh, but. <laughs> But I love Murph, and, yeah. and you know he decided uh, let, let's do law school instead of coaching. I'm not sure why you would ever make that decision, but I got some things in my in his wallet. I bet his, his yeah. bank account will tell you exactly why You're he, right. he chose that route. There, Can't fault there. the young man. Can't fault him out there. So that's going on the Spartans awesome Spartans challenge uh, this Saturday at Northampton Community College. Check it out. At Twelve o'clock we have Nishamney taking on Harrisburg and girls action. At one forty five we have Council Rock South of District One. They're taking on Wayne Hills, New Jersey. Um, at 3.30, we have our boy Jerry Lloyd back in action, coaching at Phillipsburg. Across the river. Across the river. He's in Jersey. Jersey he's he's Jersey. got some players. Chris Mann is in the house. D1. D1 commit. 6'4", six, 6'5", six, stud out there. He's in the building. They will be taking on Stroudsburg. Who, Tom? You know, oh. talking about impressive teams this week. Let, Stroudsburg. Let's talk about Stroudsburg let, a little bit. Let me bit. tell you, Tomb, I, I, the kegger, Keith Grohler, got one over on you there. I believe you took Nazareth in that game. The kegger took Stroudsburg, and Stroudsburg put it to him. They scored 85 on the Blue Eagles. Um, they have some guys who can fill it up. They Your did. boy, Tyler Henry, six threes. He scored 30 points in the game. Whoa. That's pretty impressive. <laughs> uh, Jackson, Mr. Jackson at 22. Okay. Colin Brady, 15. Wow. So to score 85 against a Joe Arndt defense, that's an that's impressive performance easy. for that's Stroudsburg. That's easy out there. I mean, I'll tell you what, man. First of all, Kegger, he got over on me. Ain't happening again, Keith, all right? It's not often you get over me. You know, it's a first show. We let you slide on that one, all right? You're not getting over He gave you that one, Keith. He gave you that hey, one. You know, hey, it's a Toombie. It's not a freebie. It's a Toombie. You know what I mean? It's a Toombie. <laughs> so, here, you know, Stroudsburg's playing awesome. Um, they have a big matchup this Saturday, like we said, at the Awesome Spartans Challenge. And uh, looking forward to seeing that matchup. After that, like we said, we have Abington Heights taking on Downtown East. Several D1 stars in the house. Andrew King being a lookout for him from Downtown East. Six, eight sophomore in the mounts in the middle. And then to cap it off, Coach Kettle's in the building. Coach, we talked to you about you last week. We told you we ain't scared of you, baby. You're coming down to town. We mentioned it. We're not scared of you, Coach Kettle's grand prep the scrappers. You're coming into our hood. It should be a great game. Amazed with Coach Yoder will have them ready, I'm sure. Well, I'm sure Coach Yoder was disappointed that the game didn't take place on Saturday. Cardinal O'Hara could not make it up because of the snow, and that's much understood. They, they got a little bit more down there than we got up here. Yeah. Uh, so Amaze has, has yet to open their season. They will have a tough game tomorrow uh, up at West. I yeah. believe that's Rich Williams' debut as Pocono Mountain West head Indeed. coach. Uh, but s- Saturday night, that should be a great game to finish the card. Scranton Prep has a couple monsters inside, and that plays uh, right into Amaze's strength. Uh, you know, big, versus big. big versus big. Big versus big, too. They got some big versus big. I, I'm not ready to call them monsters yet. I'm, I'm, I'm sorry. I'm, I'm not throwing. I'm not throwing shade at you, Scranton. I know I keep talking about that. Wow. But I'm not gonna call them monsters yet. You know they. Coach Kettle likes players. coming down to the valley. Coach Kettle is my man. You're trying to that alienate. Man. You're trying to alienate the alienated. preppers. I okay. just like. I just like to call it how it is. Okay. It's an awesome show. We're calling it how it is. Okay. We're not calling them monsters yet. Okay. Uh, you're not calling them monsters, but they are good players. Thank Very you. good players. Absolutely. And it should be a great matchup out there. So we're looking forward to that uh, this week. And also, uh, Tom, we have on Sunday. Uh, an event at Whitehall, uh, Whitehall High School, uh, sponsoring uh, taking care of Parkinson's, a big showcase game. Four games on slate there. It's it's incredible when you can get a three or four game showcase on a Sunday like that. I yeah. feel like that's bonus basketball. We have one of your favorite teams yeah. coming in from a little bit outside of Erie again, Hazleton. Oh. We'll take on your alma mater. I mean, who are you going to root for in that game, Tom? You, you're like a fanboy for Hazleton. All I hear is Hazleton, 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 and you're a Parkland grad. I don't know what you're going to do. Uh, well, hey, you know, you know exactly what I'm going to do, all right? I, Hazleton, they got their game. I'm very impressed with them. I think they are one of the top, top teams in 6A. I would not be surprised if they win it all. 
Um, but that's in March. Come this Sunday, when they come to they come in the hood. You're gonna wear your Trojan I'm underwear. I'm wearing my Trojan gear. And, okay. And the Trojans gonna do what Trojans do. That's fair. You know what I mean? Even though it's not quite playoff time, because playoff time that's when we really do what we do. Sure. But in this situation, big game coming down. We like to rise up for the big game. We'll see. But Hazleton has a great team. Uh, my man Plan Utis jumping all over the place. Um, they have a great team. So they had that matchup. Pokemon Mountain West is also taking on Liberty as well. Mm-hmm. They're a tough matchup. And Nazareth um, Whitehall. And Nazareth is taking on Whitehall, and uh, Allen is taking on. Uh, um, North uh, North Hundred and North Hundred and my man Kyle Rary. What up, Rary? What up, Kyle? What up, Rary? What up, baby? All right, so that's the action coming up here this weekend. All right, stay tuned here. Check out these highlights coming up on the Awesome Show. Always watching. You are now witnessing. Always watching. Young guy here, we just trying to chase it back. Get a check for my city, then I run it back And if you see me, don't say nothing If you trapped in the struggle, better stay hustling Honey grand, honey grand, honey grand, honey grand, honey grand, honey grand Let me stop, money dance Honey grand, honey grand, honey grand, honey grand, honey grand, honey grand Let me stop, money dance My DM's been popping since I came back home Catch me riding in your city all black on And if you falling off then I can put you back on And loud getting solid when the moves wrong I'm crossing over when they reach in I'm screaming free G like till they free to prim You get your work right me I'm jumping not to- Welcome back to the awesome show I'm your host once again to May Anderson With my main man The director of operations for the LVBR Tom Moser Tommy boy what up baby Tomb, it's just awesome to be here. We're in an awesome studio. Yes. It's the most wonderful time of the year. That's what, that's, it's an awesome it's, time it's, of year. It's, it's an awesome time of year. Indeed, indeed, that it is. Awesome time of year. My man, Paul Wall's on the ones and twos over there. Hey, baby, Paul, what up, baby? Jake, we see you out there. The sales boy, whatever. All right. So Shout out, Jake. Yeah, Jake, yeah, the sales boy, whatever. All right, so here we go. We're going to talk about this. What's up with that? We're going to talk about things that are bothering you. Our hashtag, what's up with that? Things are going on out here. Tommy, I'm going to let you start off here, man. What's bothering you, man? What's up with that, Tommy? Talk to us, baby. I got something to him, okay? So l- l- let me tell you a quick story. Let's go back 15, 20 years. To Tomb Raider is in his prime, oh, tearing man. the courts up. Yeah, he was. Coach Tom, trying to play a little bit. I'm trying to play out there, you're, you're okay? So, so Tomb, when, when you played, okay. right, when we played, right. no cell phones. They had that. No texting. He had that. Internet was in its infancy, but nobody's doing anything online with scores or anything nah, like that. No not, Twitter, nothing. None of that was okay. really going on. So how did you get your scores to him? Uh, I you know, have to, you know, go in the morning, you know, go to the old grocery store at 7-Eleven, go out there, get my 50 cents out, and buy that newspaper. Okay. That was like Christmas morning, waking up the day after a game to go look in the paper and uh, see who I'll, won. Uh, you go, go who, in there. I'm looking all through there. Who man, scored? The Bosco, who, who scored? scored? Who, who, how many did Dak Krimmel score on uh, Northampton for Parkland? Yeah, Dak, he went one for nine. You Dak, know, Dak, Dak, with one for Dak, nine. Dak was one for four from the line. He yeah. had three points. They blew a lead. Yeah. But but that was that was a thing back in the day. That was Un- it. Unfortunately, Toom, things change, right? Yeah, things in, th- things, involve, involve me. things involve in life me. change. Indeed. Now, unfortunately, the newspaper is not a big market anymore. It's it's, it's gone down. to it's internet. Okay. So we like to get our scores by social media or the internet. Okay. Okay. So there we're blessed in this area. Don't get me wrong. We're blessed in this area with the media coverage we get from okay. our TV companies, from our newspapers, our, our wonderful writers like the Kegger himself. Right, right, okay. Right. But you know, the season starts Friday. I, I'm all excited to go on there and check the scores out. And I go on there Friday about midnight. I get back from being out, you know, taking oh, a drive Georgia around. Oh, Georgia Tommy boy, what you was doing that Friday night? Tom, what you was doing? Talk to I us, just, I went for a walk. I went for a walk. Oh, you went for a little yeah. stroll. Okay. I, I stroll. try to go online and get scores. Mm. They're not online. Okay. They're not online. Huh. Okay. Huh. Now, I know that there's a policy in place. There used to be a policy in place when I scored. Inside the, info. The Here we go. Inside info. score bookkeeper is required to send the scores to both local newspapers. Okay. Hmm. I fear there's a disconnect going on. Oh. Somebody's not sending the scores oh. in. Oh. Somebody's not reporting the scores. Oh. 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 Or somebody online is not putting the scores in there. 
Tommy, okay. I see the steam coming out of you, Tom. Right. Now, I see the steam coming out. If I'm a coach, mm-hmm. I need to get my s- scouting done, right? True. I need to see how many points this guy scored. What, what who's making threes? Right. How, are they getting to the foul line? Okay. Who, who, how many guys is he playing? Okay. I okay. want to see. Are they starting fast? Are they starting slow? Right. I need to see these things. Right. Right. And right. And, and I go on, and about fifty percent of the scores are reported, and fifty percent are not. That's that, not good enough. What's up with that? What's up with that? Okay. Man. So I, 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 and I will say part of it. And and look, if if you lose that, that's not our fault. Mm-hmm. Okay, the losing team, you still got to report your score if you're the home team. Okay, I'm sorry you lost. My man Carl Gilbert, he reports his scores at Freedom, Ooh. the one and only Carl Gilbert. That, he listen, reports the that's, scores. That's why there's legends. There's in the a, game. He's there's a legend. legend in the game he's a legend. And some of these guys, you know, some of these other guys, guys need to get on the ball. Okay, and if not, the head coach needs to delegate that Whoa. to an assistant coach. Mm. You got a de- delegation to him. Okay. Delegation. I feel you. I feel we you. can't be going days without scores being reported what's up with what's that? up with that what's up all right with that, i'm man. off my soapbox too tom tom you, you calm down there tom i'm okay you calm down got there, it baby. good, you calm good down to go there, baby. good to go simmer this down tom. i apologize down, to the baby. local newspapers you do <laughs> well in other areas but i need to see an improvement here all right man tommy boy all right tommy boy it's my time man go for it tomb what's up with that man what's up with that man I got some things burning up inside here, Tom. I'm rolling up my sleeves here, as you see here. Oh, let's hear it. Last week here, you know, last week I had to, had to, had to go off on my New York football giants. They didn't mm-hmm. play my man, Eli Manning. Mm-hmm. I was fuming at this, I was fuming I about heard. that. I didn't like that one bit, not one bit at all, okay? So now I'm coming back here today, all right? Come back to you. I'm staying on the football tip, Tom. Okay. All right, stay on the football tip, all right? The Cleveland Browns, Tom. Mm-hmm. All right, the Cleveland Browns. The 0-13 Cleveland Browns, Tom. The same Cleveland Browns that refuse to draft a good quarterback, have quarterbacks that don't take them, mm-hmm. all right? And then, you know, like now they're coming out there 0-13. Tom, they're so pathetic. This is how pathetic this team is. How right? pathetic. How pathetic it is. All right. Josh Gordon. Okay. Josh Gordon hasn't touched a football, hasn't played a football since 2014. This man walks out of drug rehab <laughs> center, all right? Puts the joint down, comes out, comes man, it might have been it's more than just a joint. You know, Josh, you know, he, he Josh gets it in. All right, but I don't know what he was doing, but he got off that. He's back on the field, and immediately he steps, he steps the first time he steps on the field, they put him in the starting lineup. And he's immediately the best player on the team. Cleveland, what's up with that, man? What's up with that? Y'all don't got no good play. That's why you're 0-13. You ain't getting nothing done. You're firing your coach, you're firing guys left and right. You've had 30 quarterbacks since 2017. All right. I mean, what, what Cleveland? What's up with that, man? Y'all gotta get this thing together, man. Get some, get some, uh, get a good GM in there. You just fire your old GM. You got a new GM coming in there now. Let's get this thing rolling here. All right. Let's get some, some decent players, and let's, you know, play some decent football. Get this thing rolling in the right direction. 0-13 is unacceptable. Got to step the game up. Cleveland to, Browns, what's up with that? I, I have an analogy to him. Okay. I have an analogy. Me, so this will be the second pro wrestling reference that okay. I've dropped in this episode. Okay. To, uh, following up with The Rock. Okay. I, I don't watch pro wrestling. I did in the day. <laughs> and they have your guys like Hulk Hogan and, and the Ric Flairs of the world Woo! who are your champions and the entertainers and the guys who are bringing the people in. Yep. And then they have the guys who lose every match. You know what those guys are called? What are they called? They're called jobbers. Jobbers. So that's what the Cleveland Browns are. Damn. They're jobbers. jobbers. They're just there to play the foil for. They're the Washington Generals of Ooh. pro sports. Ooh. Okay. Ooh. They're simply there for everybody else to run over and make. They're a laughing stock. Wow. They're yeah. a laughing that's stock. Basically, what so, it's come down so to. So spread the word. <laughs> spread on social media. Yeah. The Cleveland Browns are uh, jobbers. 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 J O double B E R S. Jobbers. You heard it here there first. It Boom. Jobbers. jobbers. We don't want no jobbers out here. We don't so, want no jobbers. What's up with that? What's up with that? All right, that's what's up with that. All right, taking you out here. Check out these highlights. LVBR, always watching. You are now witnessing. Black Drake, always watching. Young guy out here, we just trying to chase it back. Get a check for my city, then I run it back. And if you see me, don't say nothing. If you trapped in the struggle, better stay hustling. Honey grand, honey grand, honey grand, honey grand, honey grand, honey grand. Let me stop. Money dance. Honey grand, honey grand, honey grand, honey grand, honey grand, honey grand. Let me stop. Money dance. My DMs been popping since I came back home. Catch me riding in your city, all black on. And if you falling off.
up and I could put you back on And loud getting solid when the moves wrong I'm crossing over when they reach in there I'm screaming free G like till they free to prim You get your work right, me, I'm jumping not to All right, back out here with the awesome show I'm Tume Anderson, my right, my man Tom Mosier's in the building Tom, all right, every, uh, I guess, uh, you know, I try to talk about this every here and there, all right I'm constantly being harassed by this fat guy in Vegas, all right? I don't know what his deal is. For some reason, he loves basketball out here in the Lehigh Valley area. And, he, he you know, he heard about the LVBR, how we're doing things. Mm -hmm. He keeps calling every – they tell him, hey, you know, I, I got the games here. I got the games here. The line's here for the games. Da, 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 da. I'm like, all right, Tony, just, just let me know what they are. I'll put it out there, all right? So here, Fat Tony from Vegas gave us a call, to, uh, Tommy. Oh, Boy. you talked to you fat you talked to Tony oh, today. Yeah, fat, no, listen, man, his name is Fat Tony. From fat Vegas. Tony, sorry, Fat I'm sorry. Tony from Vegas. He needs all that. My he fault. Needs all that in there, right? Fat Tony from Vegas called in. He has his lines here for the upcoming week. Here, he starts it off first here. Tommy Boy, Central Catholic at home, seven point favorites over Liberty. We need your pick, Tom. First of all, before going to picks, Keith, you got me. You won last week. I'm 0 1 to start the season. We'll see if I get back on the bright horse here today. Tommy, I'm taking you Kegger, on. Kegger, I'm going to follow suit and, and whip Tume this weekend also. Ain't happening. Mark Ain't it happening. down. I'll, happening. I'll take the Vikings. 2 0, big big tournament win this weekend uh, to cover that seven point spread over uh, Tom Liberty. Is taking take ACC, it the Tomb Raider. I'm riding with Liberty, getting those seven points. I'm going to take the seven points out there. Going on here, Pocono Mountain West at Easton. Pokemon Mountain Ooh. West, six-point favorites at Easton. Ooh. Toom, I feel bad choosing first all the time. I, we don't have to be opposite. You can go the same as me. <laughs> ain't like no, I, by no problem, Tom. I, I feel like I'm going to steal all the winners from me here, but <laughs> I'll take Easton there. I, I think they're they're a good home team. I think West traveling down there with some new guys breaking in, and uh, we're going to go with uh, Easton. Rich Williams, I'm riding with you, baby. I'm taking West out there, minus six on the road. All right, we've got Parkland, minus five at home against Stroudsburg. All right. Ho, oh. ho, ho. All right. Well, it's easy pick there for Tome. We're going to take uh, the mighty Parkland Trojans. I'm at surprised. Home. I'm surprised. Five point favorites. I think they're going to win this game, Tom. You sure you'll take Parkland? I think they're going to win this game. I'm going to I'm going to run game. with with the Mounties. Wow, we're we're like opposites out here. That's, not, a, not, that's fine. That's, that's fine. A, that's fine. Foster's you competition. You can lose all you want, all right? Amaeus. Eight point favorites on the road at Northampton. Oh, what do you know the status of Aiden Elwood? Is he still out? Well, the status Aiden, you know, LVBR is always watching. Status update of Aiden Elwood. He is still currently out. Uh, had a little knee twitch. Uh, at the time, it was about diagnosed to be a two to three week injury. Ooh. We're right, right now, we're about a week in. So I, I expect about another week or two before Aiden so, Elwood's in. So we're looking at a DNP from Aiden Elwood on, we're looking on at Friday. DNP. DNP I, I'm going to ride with Coy Stampone to keep that game close against Emmaus, even okay. without Elwood. I think I think the K-Kids are, are going to surprise some people. Surprise some people out there. Okay. Well, you know what? On the road, I'm going to ride with you, too, on the K-Kids, man. All right. Go with me one time, too. K-Kids gave Go with me one time. Eight points, K-Kids want to take them. Going back again here, we got uh, Hazleton. Eight-point favorites against Parkland on Sunday night. Ooh, Sunday afternoon. Eight-point favorite for Hazleton, the Cougars. Well, I know we're going to be on the same side on this one, too. I'm going to take the local team. I'm going to take the Trojans. The, the Trojans. They have okay. three uh, veteran guys and an experienced winning coaching staff, so we'll, we'll go with the Trojans. Yes, they do. They do have that Edward Olsen on that staff over there. For that reason alone, I'm going to take the Trojans. It's only just because Eddie Olsen's only on that Only because staff. Of Eddie? As no, other, well, as no other ties to Eddie, Parkland. Eddie, just missed, Eddie, Eddie missed the games this weekend. What if Eddie's not there? Are you still taking him? Listen, man. Eddie's presence is always felt. Oh, it's, right? it's felt when he's not there? Felt. Okay. He's a part of that staff. He's in the No doubt right he there. is. All right, here we go. Last couple games here. Nazareth, seven points against Whitehall. I'm going to take uh, – the. I'm going to go out there and take the home team, Whitehall, getting seven. Tom, what you feel? All right, I'll go against you. Going Nazi? I'll take you as you call him. I'll take five star. Five star. Five star. Jay, five Jay star. Hizzy. Five. Star. I'll take five Jay star. Hizzy. I'll take my alma mater, the Blue Eagles. The Blue Eagles. Holla at the Blue Eagles. Cho aren't my man. What's going on? What's going on? We got a mule mule coach over in the building over there too. Assistant coach, my man, Coach Roth. Daryl Roth. Holla at you, Daryl. I see oh. you out there, Muhlenberg in the building. Yes, he is. Yeah. What's up, Daryl? What up, Daryl? Abington, three points favorites against Bethlehem Catholic. <sighs> Abington featuring a D1 recruit, Eric Dixon, right? Uh, he's, a, he's a man. He's a stud. He's a high man. He's a monster. Okay, okay, so we can call him a we monster. We call him a monster. That's a monster. That right game there. is tough. I, I, Three points favorites. I'm going to take Abington. Sorry, Ray. Love you, Ray. Mm. I'm going to take Abington. Yeah, that doesn't sound like love there, Ray. <laughs> I love you. I'm going to take you. I'm going to take the, the Becca, Bethlehem Catholic, Golden Hawks. And our last game on the, on the slate, 
The Scream Prep, the Scrappers. They take it on the Mayus. Scream Prep, five point favorites against the Mayus. I'm gonna take the I'm gonna take the underdog. I'm gonna go You're Coach Yoder. Taking the Hornets. I'm gonna go E, e- Mouse. All right. I'm just gonna keep consistent out here. Kettle, you ain't coming out here winning nine. We're gonna <laughs> take a Mayus, a Mayus out there. All right. And that's Fat Tony from Vegas called in his lines. Those are lines for the for the week here. Tom, we'll see how that plays out here. Keep track, Tom. Keep I'll, track. We're gonna keep track out there, and I'll I'll keep track of all my source victories. of pride. Source of pride. Listen, man, I don't see I don't see Tom going out there. All right. So that's it here. All right. So here we go. The awesome show concludes here with a, another great episode. I'm your host, Tumay Anderson. I'd like to thank Tom Mosier for coming out here. Tom's gonna be on the show quite frequently on the on the on the set out here, and of course, Paul Wall on the ones and twos. We appreciate you, Paul, and of course, the sales boy, the sales boy, Jacob. Thank you, the sales boy, Jacob, for all your all you do out there, Jacob. Thanks, the sales boy. All right, that's our show here. Everything is awesome. Stay Let, awesome, baby. Let's see you Saturday at Northampton Community College for the awesome Spartans Challenge. Right, let's baby. get them there. Let's get it. Thanks.